because it cost $20,000. Belongs to Paul Diffin here. Paul, I'm sure a lot of people will be trying to take this bass from you out in the parking lot at this $20,000 bass. Well, thank you all for coming. Here's a little song that we have on uh, Rolling Rock Records, and uh, it's been out around Europe a little bit. We hope you've heard it. Maybe you like it. It's called Rockabilly Man. <laughs> from Yorki and Yuri. Yorki and Yuri. No, it's really uh, Bridget and Ann. Where's Bridget and Ann? And then I got a request to do Karen and Sue. And Karen and Sue over there. Now where's Max? I got a fountain fan from Max. Remember Max? There you are. Here, Max. Here's a song for all the rockabillies in Hollywood. Thank you. 
want to hear James Mason? Get real quiet now, we'll do James. James Mason for you. Come on. Well, I ain't never seen a buffalo to James Mason in my life. He had a wire of these strings together. Did you see Paul over there? He was tying these strings together because he broke a string. He made so much money in music, he didn't have another one. So we tied this string together. See it? See where it's tied there? And that's why we're doing a show. If we didn't have this string, we'd probably have to just sing like Perry Como or somebody. We're worthy fair, going Louisiana Hay Ride on Savoy Records. Thank 
on the old side of bass and Johnny Horton. And this is one of my favorite songs that we recorded that they did.
play another one of those cracks. Thank you. 